Hey y'all, uh, my name's Sarah Hanasimniewski, and if you haven't figured out, I'm extremely Semitic. Uh, Alright, <laughs> hallelujah. Yes, um, from Haifa, which is in, uh, it's a northern port city in Israel. Um, and the fun thing about being Israeli in America, especially in a place like Gainesville, is that you're the last race in 2023 where people think they can just walk up to you randomly in bars with people you've never met, listening to you saying, oh hey, I just, uh, I just talked to my cousin back home in Ranana. And all of a sudden, some white guy comes up to you, usually British, and goes, You fucking Zionist pig! <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit. What? Um, what? <laughs> and they're like, You fucking pig! And I'm just like, This can't be. Do you, all, do you talk to all people in bars this way, or just the Jewish ones? <laughs> and they don't. They're just like, No, but it's different. I'm like, It, it, it doesn't. Just please, just get the fuck out of here. No, anyway. Um, but yeah, so, give me, give me some grace, I <laughs> knew it was. Um, but yeah, uh, another, you know, it's funny, uh, you know, in the same vein, cultural appropriation, everyone talks about it, everyone's like, we shouldn't do this, we shouldn't wear, you know, costumes of Mexican, you know, sombreros, I get it, right? But then we have all these white women, these white Karen, you know, the Valley Girls from California, and they have 16 types of non hummus and they call it hummus. It's hummus. There's no head. Forget the head. It's gone. It's not even that. It's hummus. I don't know what N is. I don't know what letter in the English language that is. I don't speak that much English. Um, but they're very certain that's what it's called. And it's made of everything but what it's supposed to be made out of. It's an insult. And they're just like, no, but this, like, they're going wear a sombrero. You're canceled. But you mispronounce words intentionally and make our shit into chocolate, and that's cool. Okay. I'm like, that's fine. That's, that's absolutely fucking fine. Okay. Uh, no, but it, I won't lie. I do kind of take advantage of the fact that I am a dual citizen. I was born in this country. I lived in Ohio for six seconds before I moved, so that, yeah, it's what it is. But um, there are a lot of Indians and Jews in Ohio. It's kind of an interesting it's, I don't know how we both get there. It's like we both get to this place where the river literally caught on fire 25 years ago. And we're like, this is a good place to live. Yeah, two of the most educated groups of people in the country go and live where, in a place where the river catches on fucking fire. Why do we do this? But no, I took advantage of this. I moved to a place called uh, Sebastian, Florida. Does anyone know Sebastian area? Yeah, I know Sebastian. Okay, I love it. I, it's right. my hometown. My heart and soul is there. I love yeah. it. But I do fuck with the cops because they are super fucking white and it's easy to do. So at one point I was at, so we have stupid drivers, obviously, like everywhere in Florida. They, nah, um, not in Florida. I'm not in Florida, yeah, no, exactly. They come from New York too, though. A lot of them are New Yorkers who come to Vero. So they, you know, they stopped, people who didn't stop, two or three blocks from a train. Because they, like, couldn't go forward if a train was moving three blocks away. So truck in front of me takes a left turn. I take a left turn after him. We both stop at the stop sign, do it properly, no big deal. It's an obstruction of traffic. Who gets stopped? Me. Not the guy in the big truck with giant rims, because he's the cop's cousin. That's right. Okay? That's right. So he stops me. <laughs> he doesn't know that I'm about to go to law school to prove Bell's at and that I can talk my way out of anything. So he says to he's like, you know, you are just you just ran through that red light. And I said, no, I didn't. And we go back and forth for a solid 15 minutes in perfect English, you know? And I'm like, do you have probable cause to stop me, et cetera? Like, I'm clearly fluent in English. I was clearly born in this country or close. And then, you know, he's not going for it. So I go, and he, he's like, and I just start yelling at him in Hebrew, and he probably thinks I speak Arabic. And that starts to freak him out. So I just go, it's, it, and the thing is, when you learn to speak English in an American accent, it's really hard to fake the accent of your second language. Yeah. So in the worst Israeli-American speech I've ever done, I went, it's because I'm Israeli, isn't it? <laughs> and this guy, this guy who had just heard me talk in perfect English for 15 full fucking minutes, <laughs> then heard me speak Hebrew for 30 seconds, literally went and said, you can go. <laughs> All right. So 
if you're ethnic, you can get away with anything in Vero if you just kind of make them a little uncomfortable. And that's how all this My mother used to call it Vero. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Awesome. Sarah, thank you for coming. Will you come again and not break out of the shit? You know, just. You're going to be fired from my job. No, we won't. We're just going to put all this all on the internet and social media and give it to AI. You'll be fine. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Is that the set list, Tom? Believe it or not, I'm using a set list. Boy, are you mouthy tonight. I'm kind of excited to call you on. I'm ready. Man. Okay, all right, we're getting there. Things are going very well. Let's just keep it rolling. Give us nice, tight sets of your best stuff. The one and only Nora Rodriguez! Woo! In the bathroom? Oh, no, there, okay. All right. Nora, great. Thanks for being so patient. I'm glad you're here. You can plug. You, oh, you know, you have your own name. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Well, 